Welcome to Tyndale Show number three. And this morning, I get the privilege of talking with Liz Rankin, who's our registered nurse here at Tyndale. A registered nurse at a school is, is quite an unusual position. Um, tell us a bit about your background before we, we talk specifically about what you do here at Tyndale. I had worked for a significant number of years in the public health system. I had also done some private nursing, so there's in a private hospital, so there's a variety of different styles of nursing there. Um, within the clinical settings of a public hospital, um, I had the opportunity to work across all clinical areas, which was very um, exciting and also exposed me to a whole range of areas within my clinical practice. I'm also a midwife. Um, which I worked in for a significant number of years also uh, with an emergency background as well. So I've had quite a diverse professional background prior to actually stepping into school nursing. To walk into the healthcare centre, um, rather than walking into a front office where there might be a, uh, a student services lady putting on band-aids, what are some of the things that you might see going on uh, to, to walk in there? Well, when I first arrived, definitely the role was predominantly first aid. Um, and even I came into the role thinking that it was potentially a Band-Aid and Panadol scenario, which I'm very familiar that that's how a lot of people think. What was amazing about this opportunity to step into Tyndale was to explore the possibilities and the potential that was here and how I recognised that health and education fit together um, so perfectly. And so in that process of recognising those opportunities, um, I could see the benefit of the role of a nurse going way beyond basic first aid um, into preventative and primary health care and education, as well as obviously acute and chronic health management. Well children learn yeah. and we need to have them in the classrooms, which is the best position for them. So part of my challenge is to come up with ways that we can support families and children to ensure that it's not health that's preventing them from being in the classroom and reaching their potential. You've, you've talked about health and education going hand in hand. Uh, you've actually done a little bit of upfront teaching in a classroom setting as well. Tell us a little bit about that. So in addition to the clinical elements of my role, uh, Education is a huge part of that. To have a nurse teaching, it is actually different, a nurse teaching health as opposed to a teacher. We have live, uh, real life experiences. We not only understand the importance of that education, but we understand how that unfolds in people's lives beyond school. Where to for the future? Clearly our healthcare at Tyndale has evolved dramatically over the last five years, um, but where to? Where do you see it going in the future? Although there are amazing things happening in other services, what Tyndale is looking to do is to continue to explore new ways that we can bring health and education together. So uh, we're looking at developing a GP service within our school community because what we recognise is that we absolutely, in order to get the best outcomes, we need to provide a one-stop shop. So we have our speech therapists, our physio, um, our counsellors, our psychologists, we've had a paediatrician here. So we've already developed a provider service that meets a whole range of health needs and health benefits. And so we are looking to explore that and to further develop what that might look like into the future. So we've talked about the development of the healthcare centre. We've talked about where it might go in the future, but at the end of the day, parents want to know that their kids are going to be looked after. What is some advice or maybe some direction that you can give to parents in regards to what they can expect from us as a school in, in this field? Part of our holistic approach here at Tyndale is that it, it takes our whole community, our whole Tyndale team, to be able to get the best outcomes for students. So that absolutely starts in the classroom with our teachers. Um, and they would then sometimes recognise that there might be a problem or they might be communicated a problem from a parent yep. and then they have a referral system that they can go through to either refer on to uh, the healthcare centre or to the aquarium for counselling services. So that those processes work well and efficiently, what we would ask parents to do is to continue to support 
the, the classroom teacher, but also to provide the healthcare centre with current, up-to-date information about their student needs. So we would hope that families would feel comfortable to be able to liaise directly with the healthcare centre. We have two nurses on staff and uh, there is a nurse always available for families to be able to contact directly.